In Angular 2 and Angular 4, you can navigate between pages without the need of reloading the whole page. In this video, I'm going to show you an Angular 4 routing and navigation example. If you are not yet subscribed, please subscribe now for free tutorials and computer related tips. And now, let us get started. So I'm going to start by creating a new project and I'm going to call it root example. In this example, I will create a page with two links. Each link will change the content of the page without going to a different URL. So I will create a page and I'll call it about and the other page I'm going to call it news. And I'm going to create two components for each page. I'm going to start now by creating two components, one for the about page and the other for the news by running ng generate component. To do that, first I have to go inside the project folder and then I run ng generate component and the first component is going to be about and the other one I'm going to call it news. Now let us start and run the project. I'm going to change now the content of both of the components. So I'm going to go inside source, app, and then I have the two components. One of them is called about. I'm going to go inside it, inside the HTML, and say, for example, this is the about page content. I'm going to copy everything here, save the file, I go to the news inside the HTML and there's going to be the news page. First we need to import the router module into the main app and also I'm going to import something else called roots. So let us import them now and I'm going to tell you each one and the main function of it. Of it. I'm going to go to the app module now and write import and then both the router module and the roots. And both of them are going to be from Angular root router. Okay. Let me first tell you what is the main function of each of them. The router module is the module which is responsible for navigation in general, while roots inside it, this will be like an array which includes all the roots of information of each page. Now I need to add the router module into the import, then I define the roots by adding the full root function. Let me show you this. So I'm going to go into the imports here, put comma, and add the browser module. And then I'm going to call the for root function. Inside that function, I'm going to open an array. And inside that array, I'm going to add all the pages, which they're going to be as they were going to work as navigation. I'm going to open now an object and inside that object, I'm going to put the path, which is going to be about, because we have two pages, about. And then I'm going to call the component. And inside the component, I'm going to put about component, which is the class which is defined inside the component. After that, I'm going to put a comma and put again another object for the news. Let me remove now this comma and replace about with news. And the component class is called news component. So again, for root is the function to define all the pages. And inside that for root, I created an array and we got here two objects. 
for each of the components. And that path which shows here about in the nose, this is the path which gonna be inside the URL as a hyperlink which you're gonna call. Now let us save the file and we're gonna go to the main app component I'm gonna write here a break and after that we need to put a hyperlink that hyperlink or anchor it's gonna be called like router link equals and then we have two of them right we have the news and the about so I'm gonna put here one of them gonna be the news and I close it and I put like the text gonna be news and then I'm going to copy it to create the other one, which is going to be the about. Let's save it now. Now we have the links. And whenever we click on it now, nothing is coming here. Why is that? Because you need to show Angular where you want to specify or redirect the content in. To do that, I'm going to go back again inside the component HTML and you're going to add another tag which called router outlet. It's going to be router and then outlet and then I close it again and save it. Let's try it now. Now when you click to news, it's opening the HTML from the news. When you click about, it's opening and specifying that outlet as the container for the HTML. And that is the magic of Angular, that it's a single page application. There is no need to go or to reload the whole page. That's it for today, guys. Until we meet again, bye.